This is Reuters. A study finds higher rates of advanced thyroid cancer in California. A new University of California Los Angeles study has found that in parts of California, the rate of thyroid cancer patients with an advanced stage of the disease is well above the national average, prompting research into possible links to farming or radiation. They're giving you two options here, farming or radiation. Two possible links. University of California. Pretty bold statement for the University of California to say that. And I congratulate them for coming out with the most truth we've ever heard from any other university as far as I'm concerned. And if I'm wrong, please let me know if you've seen another university come out with papers supporting that Fukushima is causing deteriorations of the health. And I'm sure that there's many doctors and nurses and psychologists and cardiologists, they know that they've had a lot more business lately. They're busy, busy, busy. They're seeing a lot more abnormalities lately. According to the study, 35% of Californians with thyroid cancer were not diagnosed until the disease had already spread to lymph nodes or other parts of the body, compared with 29% of people nationwide. What does that mean? We add a 6% jump compared to the rest of the country. Could it be that these people were misdiagnosed? Dr. Vitari Harari, a member of the UCLA Johnson Comprehensive Cancer Center and lead researcher on the study, said there was no geographic pattern to the California counties with the highest percentage of people with advanced thyroid cancer, prompting her to consider possible environmental factors. There's definitely something going on here, but we're not sure what explains it, Harari said. To find the etiology of what's happening, we need more research. Harari said she was just beginning a second study that would examine potential links to farming, pesticides, or radiation. Other studies have previously found some pesticides to be endocrine disruptors, she said, but none have established a link to cancer. She said the counties with higher rates of advanced thyroid cancer could not be fully explained by socioeconomic factors or ethnicity, which also known risk factors for advanced thyroid cancer. The incidence of thyroid cancer has risen significantly over the past 30 years for reasons that have not been fully explained. More than 60,000 people in the United States are diagnosed with thyroid cancer annually. Most of them are women between the ages of 40 and 60. The disease is treatable when detected early, but survival rates are much lower when it's found in the advanced stages. She said the R word 